We designed an advanced avionics app called Level Aviation that works alongside your favorite navigation app to complete your glass cockpit solution and bridge the gap between avionics and navigation. The way I designed the app is two columns, three rows, and you can enable and disable which views you want to show on the top menu on the left. So if you tap on the menu, you're gonna see all your options. You have one here for a new view, and that opens a view on, on that section, and then select which view you want to see. And if you tap on the menu again, you add another view and select your instrument. So that's the maximum rows that you can have. To make a view full screen, you use your two fingers and double tap. To go back to original layout, you double tap again and it goes back to its original view. If you want to make it full screen within its container, you pinch zoom on any view and you pinch the view to make it go back to its original size. You can use a slide from left to right to enable and disable the columns. As far as instrumentation, you have a basic electronic flight instrument system. This is currently connected to our eye level and you have airspeed, altitude, pitch and roll, angle of attack coming from the bomb, heading indicator, turn coordinator, slip indicator, GPS information such as ground speed and altitude. You can also have the gauges shown in analog view and adjust all your aircraft parameters on the settings screen. If you go to the status view, you're gonna have a color-coded warning for all your systems and also have raw data for all the instrumentations that's coming from your device. We have also developed new features such as autopilot connectivity, infrared cameras and other plugins to expand the capabilities of this app. On the flight logs area, you're gonna be able to pull all the flight recordings inside your eye level or bomb. We partner up with Wyvern to automate the flight recording and analysis process. The new level aviation app is able to determine when the aircraft landed and retrieves the flight log automatically before you shut off the aircraft. This flight log is then automatically uploaded into the cloud so you can later analyze it. So to enable the multi-view, you scroll from the bottom up and select the Level Aviation app and put it to the side. That allows you to run the Level Aviation and your navigation app side by side. You can also resize the application by moving the middle line as desired. You can still slide to the left or the right to enable other views or use the menu on the top left to select the instrumentation you like to display. You can enable multiple views such as engine information and EFIs. One of the benefits of using this setup is that if your navigation app does not have connection to an angle of attack from the bomb, for example, or it does not display the indicated airspeed and altitude um, coming up from an eye level AW, you can now show it on the side and still maintaining your navigation app on the other side. For those apps that don't have the multi-view feature, you can still use the Level Aviation app by sliding it on top of your navigation app. This will open a side view that you can drag and drop and place whatever you want on the screen. You can also dismiss this view by sliding the top bar from left to right and bring it back by sliding from right to left when you want to see your avionics. The best part of the Level Aviation app is that it's free and compatible with all Level devices and other GDL90 enabled receivers. Download it from the App Store and personalize the glass cockpit of your dreams.